Hi everyone, this is Nick, and we're gonna be taking a look at getting our Gaja Babila set up for initial use. So I'll be walking you through the steps of plugging in and powering on this machine, navigating some menus, customizing your preferences, and installing the AquaClean water filter. All that and a little bit more coming right up. Out of the box, we have a number of accessories that are included with the Gaja Babila. So from left to right, we'll start with our complimentary bottle of Gaja Decalcifier. This is a decalcifying solution that breaks down mineral buildup caused by hard water inside of your machine. Next to that is a aqua clean water filter. So I'll cover activating this. Next to that is our coffee scoop. So this is for the bypass doser, which allows you to use the machine's pre-ground function. This is simply a measured scoop for one max dose in the brew unit. Now, ahead of those, we have our brush. This is a handy brush just for getting loose coffee grinds out of the inside of the machine or off of the brew group. Next to that is a tube of the Brew Group Lubricant. That's a food safe grease that can be applied to the brew group to allow the mechanisms to slide without friction. You'll simply want to apply this lubricant on a one to four month basis, depending on your frequency of use. Our last two accessories are our water hardness test strip, which we'll use to program our hardness into the machine. That's helpful for determining the descaling cycle based on the number of drinks brewed. And then our last little tab here is actually the socket cover, which goes in place of the milk carafe. So when you're done frothing and you've stored that in the fridge, you can simply put that tab on the front of the machine. And I'll show you later a handy little place where you can store this tab when not fitted. And that covers the accessories for the Gaja Babila. Here we are at the back of the Bobula. So as you can see, we have a socket for our power cord and then also a two position power switch. So we'll go ahead and securely insert that plug into the socket. And now when we flip this switch, the machine will power on and it will take us through the guided steps for our first setup. So I'll go ahead and flip that and see you on the other side. And here we are now in front of the machine. So as you can see, the Bobula actually went ahead and powered itself on. Now, normally though, what will happen is after the standby kicks on, you will want to go ahead and push the power button to power the machine on in the future. You can also press that same button to go into standby mode from regular operation. Now, on the left side of the screen here, we have two small buttons. They're exclusively for our programming and operation. So we have our confirmation selection button here and our return button. So that's to confirm your choices or to go back from certain menus. Now, on the right side of the screen, we have our dual purpose buttons. So the top being aroma strength, which is the coffee strength or the up arrow and then the other being the menu button or the down arrow. So fortunately, we're actually already on English, which is my preferred language. So we'll go ahead and say yes. Now, we're being prompted to refill the water tank or in this case, fill it for the first time. We'll go ahead and open up this door here on the left. And I do wanna show you this little cover that we have here. I mentioned earlier that uh, there's a little slot that fits our chrome socket cover very nicely. I'm a fan of like weirdly shaped little slots that you can put things in that like is really great for that. Now go ahead and remove the reservoir. So we'll just go ahead and give this a good rinse. And then after it's done being rinsed, we can actually put it back in the machine. So I will be right back with some fresh water. Now we have our water reservoir filled so we can continue with this process. I'm gonna do just a couple of things in advance, but first, We'll remove the carafe. I won't be needing that right now, but you know what I do want then is going to be this little tab. So it fits in there just like a puzzle piece. And we've got that on. Now we can go ahead and put the reservoir back in the machine. And I do wanna let you know that you'll need a nice container just to get under these spouts. And so it's gonna run a rinse and it's drawing water in just for its initial prime, which is to get the water circuit full of water so it can pump for your espresso. And uh, you know, your machine should be clear with all the water that comes out. This is not a brand new Bobula, but we tricked it into thinking it is. So if there's just a little brown in this water, that's just from our rinse here. All right, and now we're being prompted to activate our AquaClean filter. So 
I'll go ahead and move our container out, and then what we'll need to do is actually take the reservoir back out of the machine. That's why I've left the lid off. So we'll go ahead and say OK. And it's asking us to insert the water filter and fill the tank. Now, you can either empty the filter or the reservoir and then put the filter in and then fill it back up, or you can be a daredevil like me and just go ahead and try to put it right in there. So I'll go ahead and actually just put my filter right in. So what you'll want to do, orient it this way. We've got just that little, you can see kind of tab sticking up. So we'll have this facing the back and we'll just go right on ahead and you can see your gasket when it's made a nice seal in there. And now all we'll do is simply lift this up and put it back in. So we are going to get a message to prime the machine now. So that's going to run a little bit more water through just to get that filter primed as well. So we'll click OK. Place a container under the water spout. So that's this. And it's activating the filter. And now it may take a little bit longer sometimes to draw that water through. It's going to run quite a lot though. This activates the layers of filtration and makes sure that water can successfully flow from the reservoir through the filter actually into the boiler. Now that we are done priming, we can see that the Aqua Clean icon has appeared on the screen. So that 100% lets us know how much life is left in the filter. We'll go ahead and put the lid back on the reservoir. And now one thing that you can do actually is in the back here. So if you have a telescoping sink or a nice pitcher, for example, you can actually fill the machine via the reservoir just like this. So I'll do that to get some fresh water back in there so we'll have some to start brewing. But our science experiment isn't quite done yet. The last thing that we really want to do is figure out what our water hardness is. So that's going to use the included strip that came with the machine. And what's going to happen is we can go into the programming menu and select the water hardness option. So this is really important because if, say, for instance, you don't continue to purchase and use AquaClean filters, you'll want to get your correct hardness programmed in the machine so that it will tell you when you need to descale. So with these little strips, you've got four squares here that indicate the hardness with one to two, meaning soft water, three is medium, and then four is hard. So we'll go ahead and dunk that in our water real quick. Give that a quick shake, and we'll let that just set for a moment, and the squares will start to change color. Uh, it's really important that you test the water before it gets filtered that goes into your machine, and that this is the water that you're getting your result from, because that's ultimately what's going in there, and what's going to be the most useful for you as far as getting that programmed. And you know, the process can take just maybe like 30 seconds to a minute for those colors to change sometimes. So once you know what your result is, you can go ahead and program the hardness. Seems like we've kept the Bobula waiting for so long that we've actually gone into our little screensaver mode here. So if you ever see the Gaja logo start bouncing around, that's just a fun little way to let you know that the machine is going into its standby mode. But we do have our result of our water hardness test. So that's two orange squares indicating a water hardness of two. This is a great opportunity now to just take a look at the menu for the Bobula in general. So this little button down here on the bottom right is the menu button. And as you can see, we have two menus, the beverage menu and the machine menu. Now, beverage menu we'll get to in another section. That's how we program our drinks. But the machine menu is how we actually program all of our other settings. And You'll want to go through a lot of these just to customize the machine to your preferences before you get into regular use. So, we've got our AquaClean filter activated, but I do want to show you what this menu looks like since you didn't go to it yourself. It simply says right now, filter already activated. But if you didn't activate it, you could go in there and actually switch that on. Now, we'll continue going down, and we've got settings. We've got language again, which we could change if you ever needed to. Say you're learning a new language and uh, wanted to try that out. Brightness is going to be just the brightness of our display. Now, I would just say set this to whatever's easiest for you to look at, and then go ahead and set that. Button sound is if you do not want to hear these beeps every time that we move. So just to give you a sense for what that's like. Fairly quiet now, so you'll have to decide if the beep is for you or not. Eco mode, so what eco mode does is it just takes a little bit longer to get these drinks heated up when they're uh, ready to, or starting to brew rather. So like if you've ever activated eco mode in your car and you know it takes 
a little bit longer when you step on the gas to get accelerating. It's sort of the same thing here, just reduces the power consumption of the machine. So you can go in there and just switch it either on or off. We'll leave that on. And standby time, this is going to be how long the machine actually can idle before it will go into a low energy standby mode. So 15 minutes all the way up to 180 minutes or three hours. So I'll do that just so that we don't have anything falling asleep on us while we're in our video. Now, water hardness, which is our second to last option, we'll go in and we've got our results here from one to four. I'm gonna go ahead and say two. Now, you wanna make sure that you have the correct water hardness actually programmed into the machine so that you get an accurate descaling frequency based on the number of drinks that you make. Now, of course, our last option is restore to default, which we don't want to do, so I'll go ahead and demo the return button for you. So that's how that works. But that's basically how we would program our water hardness and an overview of some of the other menu options that we've got here in the Bobula. So the other ones that we've got, if we keep scrolling past settings though, we have maintenance here. So maintenance has a couple of things. We've got brew group clean, which is how to clean the group using a Gaja cleaning tablet. Carafe cleaning for cleaning our carafe. Descale, which is the op, you know process of actually descaling the entire machine using the calcifying solution. And then if we go to carafe clean here, carafe clean is basically a yes, no, do we want to be prompted to clean the carafe after we are done making a milk drink. So it's gonna default to on and what's gonna happen is after you're done frothing a drink, you'll get in a little alert. Now carafe cleaning, just to show you the difference, this is, hey, do you want to start cleaning the carafe? That's where we would use like a formulated milk breakdown solution, something like a Urnex Rinza, for example. So we'll go ahead and say, no, we don't want to do that though. We can go back again, we'll go down to our statistics. This is mostly bragging rights, but this is where you can see all the number of drinks that you've made with all the different options. And you can reset the statistics, but I kind of would like to leave them on there. You know, we get people who are like, hey, I made 10,000 drinks, and it's like, drank a lot of coffee. So we'll go back, and that covers the menu on the Gaja Babila. For our last step of setup, we'll take a look at the bean hopper. So we'll talk about what kind of beans to use and how to set our grinder. But first, just to address, this is our bypass doser. So by opening this hatch, you can load pre-ground coffee directly into your brew group to brew using pre-ground instead of whole beans. Now, we'll go ahead and open up the door here. And as you can see, we have a nice lid with a gasket seal. So there is a bit of information on here. So don't put water in the grinder, obviously, and no pre-ground coffee. But we also have here our grind setting indicator. So as I mentioned, the Bobula does have 15 settings for its grinder. Now, in my opinion, you're probably good with the first couple that you've got here. I always prefer to set my grinder to the finest setting. I find that that helps me get the most rich extractions, but that is going to be up to you. Now, one thing though that you should always keep in mind is that when you are first setting your grind, you wanna make sure that you do that while the hopper is empty. So before adding any beans, you can go ahead and adjust. And to adjust, you'll simply push and twist. And this arrow here lines up with your current selection. And you may say, why should I wait? Or rather, why should I do this before putting in beans? Well, you wanna make sure that there's no coffee between those burrs because when you're making adjustments, if there's beans between the burrs and you're trying to get finer, that's something that will obstruct them and can damage the grinder. At which point, Gaja recommends that you only make a single adjustment at a time, brew a shot, and then make another one. That's why I always say that you should simply adjust your grinder before adding coffee. Now. We'll go ahead and remove the lid, and you can see on the inside we have the hopper here, and then an auger which pulls the coffee down into the burrs. So the beans that you use should be a medium roast that does not have a lot of surface oil. Uh, so you can either use something like this. I'll show you. This is the Gaja 100% Arabica, but you can see a nice medium roast here no surface oils or glossy sheen. Those oils can basically gum up a lot of stuff ranging from the hopper to your group and cause some damage. So no extra dark roasts and no flavored coffee and otherwise you'll be good to brew with the Bobula. So that puts a lid on it and we'll take a look at brewing next.